And so she noticed that he was always very abusive, very aggressive towards them, but he was sweet to her. And so she just felt, eh, it's probably just because he doesn't care about those people. But when you then get into those person realizes that he has you, he then doesn't even care about you again. And then you then fall into the same category of the waiters and the shop owners and the malls, staff that you have been abusing throughout. And so you then wake up and realize, wait, this is how you treated them. I thought I was different. But somebody with the trait of having that abusive personality of saying, this is who I am and you must submit to it. They either have it full blown, as in they are very clear about it. They will tell you to your face, I want you here at so so and so time and you must do it or there will be consequences. Or the person does it subtly. He will tell you, he will very sweet to you. He will buy you gifts. He will treat you fine. But everybody else around you is basically a waste of space. And so when you find somebody who treats any human being, any, doesn't re regardless of who the person is, the doma, the security at the gates, whoever the person is, treats them as a waste of space. Chances are, once he fits you into that same category, he will treat you the same way. So um, that for me is the two major clearing signs. See, this person are avoiding. I'd like to add on to this, if I may, like, this Please. is something that's very, very important. First of all, more power and energy to you, FIFO. I think it's very brave for you to speak something like this. It would have been a traumatic experience. And I think we as parents have a very, very big responsibility here. When you have a child, right at that time, they need to know what is a safe and an unsafe touch. And what to do if they feel offended. And the first thing is, we should let a child know that it is okay for them to feel offended. Most of the time, we just deride children as if they don't have a personality. They don't have a right to say no. And one thing we need to teach all possible children, and this is much more important than anything that is taught in school, is if you do not like something, you have a right to say no. You have a right to scream. You have a right to run away from that place. And they should always know, this is my... A circle of safe people, which includes my parents, probably my grandparents. These are the people I can always go and tell that this is happening. This is something I don't like or just call out for help. If we just start there, I think a lot of harassment cases would not happen. Because most of the times what would happen is if someone is being harassed, the abuser will try and make sure that the other person feels that he is guilty. He or she is guilty. Mm. So if a woman is being sexually abused, most of the times they have come up to me and said, Lot of time I couldn't talk about it, Shivani. Why? Because I felt there's something wrong with me. It took me a lot of time to realize that this is not about me. This is the other person who is the wrong in this case. This is the perpetrator. He's the harasser. He needs to be punished for that. Yeah. If this is something we could teach our children, I think they would grow up into individuals who can handle harassment and just say no right there and then. The only thing I would add to that, and and FIFO don't speak about anything you don't want to but in FIFO's case her parents were leaving her in the custody of her abuser and so there are various um, scandals about various churches uh, but you know there's a lot of uh, a lot of abuse has gone in on in the past in faith communities where trust is supposed to be high um adenike you're muted still please give us your your please views us on this um it's i'm sorry about it it was, um, the situation what happened with her i've actually heard a couple of stories i've heard a couple of stories it's appalling um there's a lady I counseled and as was, is one of the stories that I can hardly forget because her father actually groomed her to believe that she was doing him a favor and she was showing him love. 